Hello? Hello. If you follow me on Instagram, you know there's a new gal in town. I have been replaced. I no longer have a job. We are back today with a tutorial specifically for those of you who either cannot grow your nails or can't have long nails due to life or work circumstances, but still want to work with what you've got and try out a baby French manicure. First things first, I'm softening up the cuticle area with my Blue Cross cuticle remover. I switched to wood sticks to push back my cuticles a while ago, and I get them in a multi-pack, but one thing I do to prolong the life of my wood sticks is I sharpen them by filing the sides with a 180 grit file. So you can reuse the same stick over and over if you just give it a quick little file between uses. After pushing the cuticles back, I'm wiping the dead skin off with a little bit of alcohol on a lint-free wipe and gently trimming off any leftover dead hangy stuff. And then I'm cleaning up the dead skin off of my towel with my mini crumb vacuum. I still get comments asking what it is that I rest my hands on while I'm painting my nails. It's this thing. It's a little mini crumb vacuum that I use to clean up my workstation. Very handy. Using a 240 grit file, which is super gentle, I'm just filing the surface of my nails to remove any shine. And I'm also filing the sides and taking down the length a little bit because I wanna cater this video to those of you who have super short nails. Moving on to prep, as always, I'm applying my dehydrator, followed by my pH bond, followed by my foundation, and I'm curing it in my LED lamp for 45 seconds.
I don't think I've used this on camera before, but Baby Take a Vow by OPI is probably in my top five favorite OPI shades. It's slightly more pink and more opaque than Love is in the Bear, but it's still that cool toned pink that I love. I did three very thin coats of this and cured each coat in my LED lamp for 45 seconds. Before I do my baby French, I'm gonna wipe off the sticky inhibition layer because it's unnecessary for this and it actually kind of gets in the way when I'm trying to draw my smile lines. I'm gonna give you a couple different options when doing a baby French on super short nails. If you are not comfortable freehanding smile lines with a nail art brush, you can use a stamping tool to apply most of it and a detail brush to touch it up. It is possible to use a stamping tool on super short nails. You just have to position your nail correctly so that the gel polish doesn't transfer onto the pillowy part of your fingertip. If you don't think you can avoid getting your fingertip into the gel polish because you're not very comfortable with the stamping tool, an option that you have is to use a latex peel-off tape that is normally used around the cuticle area for gradient looks and applying it to the pillowy part of the fingertip. That way, if you do get a little bit of gel polish on that part of your finger, it's easier to clean up. You don't have to worry about accidentally curing it onto your skin. And if if you're allergic to latex, I think there are some latex-free wraps that you can use that you can find on Amazon. I apply a couple coats of the latex just under my nail and while I let that dry, I'm pouring a bit of the C&D Nail Surface Cleanser and setting it aside in case I need to clean up any excess gel polish. And I like to use one of these brushes for cleanup. My favorite white gel polish for French tips is this one by McCart because it's the most opaque one I own and it only requires one coat. Although sometimes I do go over it twice, but you don't need to. So I'm applying a bit of my gel polish to my stamping tool. I place the tip of my nail right below the gel polish and I gently transfer it onto my tip. It doesn't look too bad, so I'm cleaning up the excess. I take a small nail art brush to touch up the corners and then I sharpen up the smile line with my cleanup brush. Rush. I do a quick flash cure and then I touch up the smile line a bit more and then I give it a full 45 second cure in my LED lamp.
It looks a bit crazy with the latex, but just trust the process. When I peel off the latex and thoroughly wipe underneath my nail with a little bit of alcohol, it all comes together. Then I finish off with the rubber top by In Hype. I make sure to cap my free edge and I cure it in my LED lamp for 45 seconds. For the rest of my nails, I alternate between using the stamping tool and freehanding the smile line with a longer nail art brush. I actually find freehanding the smile line on super short nails using my dominant hand is fairly easy to do once you get the hang of it. You just have to use the right length brush and just let it glide across the tip of the nail and have it do the work for you. Using my non-dominant hand, however, is another story. I heavily relied on my stamping tool when doing my dominant hand and actually the stamping tool is easier to use when you're using your dominant hand because it's your hand that is doing all the work. You're just holding the stamping tool with your non-dominant hand and your dominant hand is kind of like guiding the gel polish. Does that make sense? It makes sense in my head. After I applied all my smile lines and before moving on to top coat, I actually ended up taking down the length of my nails a tiny bit more off camera because I wanted a super short manicure and I felt like my nails still weren't as short as I wanted. Like I wanted to be able to see the pillows of my fingertips peeking out above my nail. Anyway, I fast forwarded the rubber top coat application to save on time. I cured for 45 seconds and I finished off with a little bit of cuticle oil. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of this video. I love my baby French. I hope that you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. As always, everything that I used will be listed in the description box below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing and staying subscribed. And I'll see you in my next one. Okay, love you, bye.